Good evening, Hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about how to hide specific systems as well as specific games in your databases, so get ready. Alright guys, so if you've ever wondered on uh, your database folder or um, your genres, if you ever want to just hide some of the games that are not compatible or you don't have any sort of, uh, let's say, wheel art, uh, it's pretty easy to hide these uh, without having to do a lot of work. So what I'm doing right now is just going to Hyperspin, Database, and then MAME. Uh, you can pick any system. And what we're going to do is just open up the name XML, that is the system XML. Uh, so once you've done that, there's a couple ways on hiding some of these uh, systems and or games. You know, if you're in the main menu wheel, you could do the same thing. You could be in Super Nintendo. Uh, it doesn't matter. So what you're going to see is under the uh, game name. So this is the title of the game that you're looking at or the system if you're on the main menu wheel. You see the game name is that, and then if you just put in enabled equals, uh, in quotations, zero or one, uh, you can essentially hide that, uh, that wheel. So if it's enabled one, that means it, you want that to show up. If you want it to be enabled equals zero, that is when it will hide that uh, specific game. So. You know, you can have the, the the wheel art, and you can also include this enabled. So if, if you're hiding all of the wheel art that you don't have, uh, you can certainly do that another way instead of going through each one of these games here. So uh, really, I would recommend using this enabled equals one if the game is not compatible and you want to basically just hide that from the system wheel. Uh, that, this is a much more uh, manual uh, approach here, and you know it has some benefits here. So that's uh, that's why I'm showing you. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the main XML because we now have uh, discovered on how to you know show and hide these um, games. But if you want to do this in a bulk uh, situation, if you go to Hyper HQ and then go to your wheel settings and then the specific uh, system that you're after. What you're going to do is go to the navigation and themes tab and you're going to see this uh, filter for wheels only you're going to check that so essentially uh, another method on doing this is if you go to your system here and if you were to well we'll just go to main here and then you go to images and wheel so this is going to be where all of your wheel art is and since i've got on Hyper HQ wheels only if I were wanting to hide you know a specific game I could simply delete it uh, you know the 19 XX for example I could delete that and then I just want to show up on the wheel when I'm looking through it or what you could do is create another folder and you can just drop that wheel art into one of these folders and it would prevent that game from showing from uh, your hyperspin wheel. Uh, so again, the reasons you would ever do this is for compatibility purposes for systems. Sometimes games just simply will not work. Uh, others, uh, you might want a full media set uh, in your setup, and you don't want to see you know anything that does not have any sort of media. So that is the uh, best scenario here. And uh, you know what you could do, uh, you know to even maximize this uh, automation a little bit more uh, what you could do is if you open up Fatmatch uh, basically if you've been following my channel here uh, Fatmatch is a uh, you know third-party app that allows you to match your media up against your games uh, so that, that's what this is Fatmatch and what you could do is just you know look at your game category uh, or directory 
Uh, and you would put that there, and then you would put in your wheel images here. And what this is basically saying is, find me all the media that I have uh, that is associated to my games. And if you know your games uh, don't have wheel art, essentially, when you you know run this. Uh, you would essentially find a folder with all of your matching media and anything that does not match uh, you know it would just show up here and uh, what you would essentially do is uh, you know all of the non-matching wheel art would still remain here after you you know try to match what's in fat match and you could essentially delete that wheel art because that wheel art does not exist and uh, or, sorry, you don't have the game uh, with that matching media, and you could essentially delete that wheel art. So there's a number of ways to uh, cut this pie here, and I hope that helps you guys, and we'll catch you next time.